there guys, it's Pip here from pipweekly.com and today I want to talk with you about knowing what you want. Um, the reason I want to talk to you about this is I've just watched a video by a guy called Bob Proctor. Um, now I don't know much about this guy called Bob Proctor. Um, I've just come across him in The Secret, I haven't watched it now for the second time, I'd forgot he was in it. All I know about him is that when he was 26 years old, like I am now, um, basically someone turned around to him and said, you know, you are the most miserable, most broke, most depressed person I have ever met. Why don't you change it? And he has, and, and he, today he's a, a hugely successful person, very well respected in regards of personal development, does a lot of speeches and seminars, uh, owns an uh, institute called the Proctor Gallagher Institute, which is all about uh, personal development and um, I just wanted to talk with you because I saw him in the secret and I thought, oh this guy looks a little bit interesting, let's see if he's got any videos on YouTube, I'm sure he has. And I came across this video and it's called The One Habit That Will Change Your Life and it talks about decision making. Um, and I've just watched it and in it he talks about that most people never, ever, ever do the things that they really want to in life. They don't live in the house that they want to, they don't do the job they really want to, they don't have the car that they really want to. And he, he was saying why and he said that most people when you ask them will give you a list of reasons or very logical, uh, reasonable uh, explanations and the top one will be they can't afford it and I get that I mean we live in a capitalist society here in the western world I mean not all cultures are um, and I just find it very interesting because he was saying that actually money is the easiest thing to, to earn uh, and that sounds like a crazy statement and then he said if you know how if you know how and it's funny because we think money brings us peace of mind and a better way of life and in the western society you've got magazines and they're full of celebrities and they have these massive houses and huge cars and um, swimming pools and we all idolise and we want that lifestyle but then again if you look at these magazines they're all about sort of the relationships not working out or this going wrong or that going wrong or there's been a break in I mean even the Queen has had break ins and so we all aspire to this way of life, but actually it doesn't necessarily bring you the best quality of life. Having the most money doesn't actually bring you the best quality of life. I remember once I was looking at a meditation by a, a monk and um, his way of life just really struck me because, I mean this was on YouTube, and it, it struck me because I came to realise that, that monks, yeah okay, they use money, but they don't really care whether they're rich or poor, whether they, you know, as long as they've got enough to get by. Uh, you know, they do use money, but it's not their all, it's not their everything. Um, so anyway, back to what Bob was saying. He said in this video that he remembers meeting this couple in a hotel. Um, and I think they were called John and Pat. And they said, oh, you know, we'd really, really like to buy a house. He said, well, go and buy a house then. He said, well, we can't, we haven't got the money. He said, you don't need the money. He looked at him rather strange. He said, well, you don't need the money because you haven't made the decision yet. You don't need the money to make the decision. And he was talking about once you make a decision, once you make a committed decision, there is no going back, that is irreversible. And at that point, once you've made that decision, you know what you want, and you decide that come hell or high water, you are going to find a way to get that. And you will get that because you have made the decision that that is exactly what you want. There is no other alternative. And so this is quite an interesting way of thinking. And he was talking about how most people also don't live the way of life that they, they desperately want to or really think they ought to, um, you know, driving the car and the house and all that as I've mentioned before, because of their way of thinking. You know, he said most people, they, 
their thinking is not in line with their goal. They have a goal up here and they think down here, okay? And then they wonder why they never get to that goal because they're not in the same frequency, they're not in alignment. They're not thinking the type of thoughts that will actually make them take the action to get towards that goal. You know, their thinking is down here, so they're taking actions down here. So they get results down here, and yet they're looking up here. Um, and this is really an interesting way of thinking because I never realised, I never realised how limited my mindset of thinking is. So just to give you an example, I woke up today, uh, today is my day off, I can do whatever the hell I want. Um, but most people you see, they, they wake up and they, even if they don't want, know what they want, they fall into this pattern of conformity. Get up, have your breakfast, yeah? Go out to the shops, do a bit of cleaning, yeah, go on a walk to the same place. I mean, I've woken up today and I can do literally anything I want, anything I want. I could, you know, I could go to New York, I'm in England, you know, um, I could go to New York, I catch a flight, and I could, you know, scale the bridge if I wanted to, you know, I could do anything that my mind impresses on me to do, but most of us are not doing what we want because we fall in this pattern of conformity. And there is a lot of conformity in the Western world, um, and, you know, we all get into the sign of thinking of, you know, oh, wake up, got to do this, got to do that, got to get the washing on, got to get the shipping in, got to pick the kids up, da 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 da, you know, and we just fall into this, this conformative ways, and there's nothing wrong with that at all, as long as you are aware that you are making the choice to do that, and it's the choice of life, even if it's similar to someone else, you are aware that it's your choice to pick the kids up, it's your choice to do the shackling, etc, etc. Um, and I mean, I'm really not that different to anyone else. Um, there is a huge amount of conformity in the Western world, um, even going to university, which is, I'm sorry, becoming a conformity norm now. Um, I actually left university after a month, decided it wasn't the right place for me. Um, and I think a lot of people are starting to rebel against that because they realise it's not the only way and one size does not fit all. Um, but we are told that we have to live a certain way, you know, and we have to get a job and we have to um, move up the ranks and pay into a pension and then we'll retire at 60, 65, it's going up all the time. Um, you know, by the time you watch this video that will probably be outdated. Um, and then you go off and travel the world and then you die. And that's the way of life and that's how it is. Um, and I mean, I have my own business now, um, but most people, they never, ever, ever, ever think, it never even crosses their mind that there could be another way of life for them. They just absorb what they're told throughout school and then off they go into the world and then the, the baseline of thinking never really changes. Um, and I was talking to a friend and she was talking about how when she was in a job, she has a business now, she actually runs an eBay business, um, she's doing it for herself. And she talks about how now she wants to go travelling. If she was in a traditional job, she could probably not do that because she doesn't set her own hours, she doesn't set her own pay packet. She doesn't set the time that she gets to have off. She might book some time off and not be able to have it because another colleague wants it off. And there would be all these kind of limitations in place. Um, so the thing I really want to leave you with today is even if you're not aware of this yet please, or what it could mean for you, please just know that there is a higher level of thinking for you. And what happens is we are here and as we go up the level, we see the next level, and see the next level, and see the next level. But you can't see the levels up here until you move up the level down here. It's too much of a jump. It's like learning to walk and then being asked to scale Kilimanjaro. Okay, it's not going to happen like that overnight. It takes uh, a lot of building up and a lot of training and a lot of endurance um, just to get the right skills and the right habits and the right mindset in place. Um, so I would be really excited if you would just interact with me below, especially let me 
tell me what you would think about uh, celebrities and uh, money uh, having you know an effect on experience the best quality of life um, maybe you've had an insight somewhere in your life where you've suddenly had a realization and you're thinking oh my gosh we're all just doing the same thing and, and I'm not sure I want to do that anymore um, I would just be so excited for you to just comment below uh, join me on the website pipweekly.com we've got loads of blogs about this sort of thing for you and if you want to watch Bob Proctor's video it's on YouTube he's got loads of videos just search for the one habit that will change your life or just type in Bob Proctor decision it's um, it's just a 15 minute video I think it's 15 minutes 40 something um, and it, it's just so inspirational he also reads a bit of um, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill he re reads an extract from that book uh, which is a, um, a wonderful insightful book for those of you who are studying business or, or just personal development it is apparently really well regarded I've got it on the list from the library I can't wait till it lands um, in my palms and my hands um, so I know what I need to do I need to sit down and I need to think of all the crazy things that I've got going on in my life and I need to really think about what I'm doing and why I'm doing it because Bob explained that most people when they have a goal should have a goal and then work back from it okay you fill in the gaps but most people have a goal and they stay here and they look at it and they go I'd like to be there but they don't begin the action steps or develop the strategy to begin making that a reality and you end up just dreaming so as I say that's all from me I really hope that has been insightful for you and until next time you take care bye now